Hello and good morning everyone. This is the next episode in the series of machine learning tutorials. I am Sitesh Vachan, a data science evangelist and you can reach out to me on this email for any questions, queries or comments. Machine learning is a emerging field and it is helping the business in a very big way. So as per Gartner, what are the success criteria a data science a data scientist should have? So driving the success of data science solutions, that's key, very, very important factor. And what are the different skills, roles, and responsibilities a data scientist should deliver? So if you look at, there are three things mainly which he should hone the skills. One, in business skills, he should have a business acumen, he should understand what are the various SLAs, matrices of that particular business, what is the market that particular organization is operating in, and how are they making money. The second piece is the data science itself, which is on analytics. What type of analytics to be chosen, how it is going to give the optimal and best results. The third component of it is IT skills. IT skills are of different types. It is related to data ingestion. It is related to which tools you use, which programming language you use, how do you deploy the solution so that it will become a sustainable solution and would work for the organization health in the longer run. So if you find there are so many new technologies nowadays coming and which are able to read out the large data, big data, very easily and if you deploy machine learning on top of it then it could deliver the great insights and the big results for the organization success now if you look at there are three key things one statistics artificial intelligence and computer science one need to understand that machine learning is a there are many organizations, there are many institutes, and I'm not going to demean anybody or anything here, but which are giving a smaller packaged courses on machine learning. But actually, if you look at, it's a very, very vast topic. It has statistics inbuilt into it, where you need to understand and learn all these theories, statistical theories, how does normalization take place? What are the different theorems? What are the different algorithms, regressions, logistics? Then artificial intelligence. Now artificial intelligence, these are the ways and means of conducting any analysis. You need to understand how neural models work. What is computer vision? How do you detect the anomaly? NLP. So there are so many things inbuilt into it. Which are, the, which are the standard topics in itself. Then the, the main and the key thing is your computer science, which is different, different data mining and data management, data management tools, which, have, which can be used. You have the big data, you have uh, different visualization tools, you have different cloud tools. So, Machine learning is a combination of all three. And if a person has a good knowledge about all three topics, then only he can be a good machine learning expert or a good data scientist. So we should not be thinking of taking a sterile dose of machine learning because it's not possible. You need one has to learn machine learning in full to get the complete understanding of the subject so that they could bring best for the organizations and for themselves. Now, the next piece is, if you look at, here I've, if you look at the scaled view of machine learning and statistics, and there are few statements what I have written over here, because whichever organizations or whichever area we are deploying machine learning, the goal is to develop deep insights from data sets and also it has to be in a faster manner best case is if it's a real-time basis 
extract knowledge from the data in such a precision that it gives you accurate results and also the there are risks which have to be minimized organization using mathematical and computer science technologies for extracting information from large data it's a very very important subject because as you see that the organizations are in working for so long and previously the data has not been uh, data was not available in such a large extent while it is a totally different picture in today's world you have data which is so vastly available so easily available and the data storage devices rates have are also very down as compared to the previous rates so that way you have the infrastructure as well as you have the need to store large amount of data now organizations have a challenge to really deploy a mathematical or a computer science model or solution which could provide some insights from that large data now if you program the computer in a if you hard code every algorithm or you hard code every analysis in machine then the changed business scenario is such that you have to rewrite your code every now and then so that's where there is a requirement of some sorts of programming which could easily accept the changes in the for in the upcoming years and that's where the machine learning focuses on getting computers to act without being explicitly programmed by choosing better models you can improve results over time with less human intervention these models can then be used to produce reliable repeatable decisions so i think machine learning and statistics they are not solving today's problem they are solving tomorrow's problem so today we need to predict what prob today we need to predict about the future and then we need to solve those problem and that's where the solutions which we will design those have to be those have to be sustainable solutions for the long run so today i will end at this note that machine learning is a key thing and also it has it is solving organizations problem of to, not only today but for tomorrow as well so next short next topic which will very soon hit your inbox on machine learning algorithms till then stay tuned thank you